Thank you for 20,000 subscribers. Don't forget that you can buy a portrait of Stalin from eBay. Thank you, comrade artist, and hello, comrades, it's the Finnish Bolshevik. Now, sorry, I'm quite late in making this video because my microphone broke and then I got a quick replacement microphone and a lot of people complained that it was crap. So I finally decided to get what I hope is an actually good microphone and it took a while for it to get delivered to me, so um, sorry about the delay. So anyway, I was thinking, what am I going to do for this subscriber special? And I decided that what I'll do is I'll just do shoutouts. Because there's so many good channels out there these days, and there's actually quite a lot of new channels that have appeared pretty recently. So I'm gonna do shoutouts. First is going to have to be Artist. <laughs> now, this channel is not necessarily for everybody. <laughs> it's kinda out there. Hello guys, and welcome to Artist Room Tour Subscriber Special, yes, yes. He basically makes meme videos and funny videos, and it's obviously kind of subjective what you find funny and what you don't find funny, but it's pretty wild. Check it out. These are top five questions science still can't answer. How can 80 million people have been killed under Stalin when there was no population drop? Number two, who invented pooping? All right, moving on. The next is going to have to be my buddy Pauling Kosh. Hallucinating crazy getting lost for miles. May have gotten too fucked up because I forgot how to smile. I'm gonna have to do this shit Jim Morrison style. Witam towarzysze, to jest Pauling Kosh. So Pauling Kosh makes Marxist Leninist content. He has his own little twist on things. Pretty entertaining videos, uh, thought provoking videos. Notably, the Pauling Kosh channel is the home of Big Brain University, sort of a podcast format um, series featuring me, Pauling Kosh, and Red Renegade with various guests looking at PragerU videos. fucking play right now and like you're like not letting it go dude <laughs> dude come on <laughs> my god stop <laughs> pressing pause just go with <laughs> what the fuck is going on this is Polit Kaja welcome to Big Brain dude. University uh, we have as usual Finball and Renegade and our special guest dude, just start the fucking video <laughs> why do we spend so much money on Israel over my decades of military service as the deputy Jews. commander of the National Guard, and now as a security advisor, oh. I've often heard people. There you go. Complain. Video over, guys. The truth is, we don't spend enough. Oh my god! <laughs> it's an entire series devoted to debunking and laughing at PragerU. So, if that type of content interests you, then why don't you just march over to the Polling Cost channel? All links in the description, obviously, and just. Enroll to the Big Brain University. That's where our campus is located. You can talk to the staff and get your Big Brain degree. Next up is Hakim. Hakim makes some of the best videos out there. His videos only get better and better. He has a good amount of videos already, but I've watched every single one of them. His videos are always really well researched. Some of the most useful videos, in my opinion, are Socialism Gives a Better Quality of Life. Capitalism hasn't lifted millions from poverty. Hakim is from Iraq, so he has a unique perspective on the Middle East. He's made an informative video about Rojava and the Kurds. He's currently making a multi-part series debunking racism and race science, or pseudoscience. Racists nowadays, and their academic counterparts, try to push the idea of race realism, or racialism. The idea that humanity can be easily divided into well-defined categories, races, that are both broad and clearly defined. First part, humans are not equal, the dishonest history of race, is already out. Next up, Democratic Socialist 01. 
I'm often asked on Discord and on Twitter if I'm still a democratic socialist. The consensus seems to be that I'm a Marxist-Leninist who just calls himself a democratic socialist in order to fool people. This is not the case at all, for I still believe I'm a democratic socialist, just not the type my detractors are thinking of. You see, I support proletarian democracy, not so-called bourgeoisie capitalist parliamentary democracy that has dominated the West for the last 200 years. He's been making videos for a few years already. He has lots of videos on a variety of topics, lots of videos against free market ideology and against neoliberal capitalism, lots of videos against fascism as well. And this is pretty serious content, like factual, super informative videos, and that's why people like his content. Next, a smaller channel, Sigmund Kyle. He used to be called the Mad Marxist. Sigmund Kyle makes Marxist-Leninist content. He used to have a lot of like meme videos and just kind of silly videos like that. But recently when he started making videos again, it's been mostly about psychology from a Marxist perspective. I've had some fellow Marxists go up to me and say, Sigmund, how can you be a supporter of psychoanalysis as well as in Marxist-Leninist? Freud had a metaphysical view of mind. Psychoanalysis, as the name implies, is the analysis of the psyche, and more particularly, the unconscious. We can all agree that what makes our brains work is the material, the matter, chemically reacts to the stimulus. This is clear, but what isn't so clear is consciousness itself, the reality of self. This is not the chemicals themselves, but rather the results of their interaction with external stimulus. Mainly Freudian psychology. So that's something a bit unique that you don't really see on other channels. So if that interests you, then go subscribe to Sigmund Kyle. Next, we have Benji Adam Wisketz. Hello, comrades. Today I'll be talking about capitalism and human nature. Benji has also been making videos for a few years now. It's your typical Marxist-Leninist stuff, but it's good. You can never really get too much of that. Benji has videos on a number of different topics explaining communism, uh, debunking myths about communism. He has a really good video about the EU and how it's imperialist. Probably my favorite Benji video is the one called Why don't you ask the people who actually lived under communism? Because that's the thing you always hear from right-wingers. They say, oh, why don't you ask the people who actually lived under communism? They're gonna tell you that it was horrible. And in the video, Benji basically just shows different polls from different countries, like Russia and Romania and Eastern Germany. And of course, as we know, because I'm sure we've all seen those stats by now, all those people say that life was better in socialism than it is now in capitalism. So yeah, check out Benji. He uploads pretty consistently. It's good stuff. Then we have Comrade Larius. Larius only has one video out so far but I'm sure he's going to make more eventually. But the one video he does have is probably the best explanation of what Nazbols are, like what they actually are, not like some weird meme joke thing, but what they actually are, the history of where these ideas come from, and people don't really know what national Bolshevism is. They think that it's basically just fascism or something. There's a pretty big discrepancy between real-life Nazbols in Russia and people on the internet who think they're Nazbols. From the words of modern day Nazbols, the moment had three roots. First is the white emigre that came to the conclusion that the Soviet Union is actually a positive force for Russia, and they were led by a man by the name of Nikolai Ustrelov. This movement called themselves Smenovyekhovtsi. It can literally be translated into English as era changerism or era changers. So if you want a better understanding, more factual understanding of what Nazbols actually are, then you can go on Larius's channel and check out his video. It's not a video endorsing Nazbols or something, it's just a video explaining what it actually is. Then we have Mexi. Hey guys, welcome back. Um, so today I'm going to talk about probably the wildest shit that you're going to hear in a long time. She has really excellent videos about 
ecology and how that relates to capitalism and socialism. Basically, our global institutions are now admitting that neoliberal capitalism might not be all it's cracked up to be, and you know, growing inequality and growing degradation of the environment may actually pose problems for the sustainability of the system going forward. She doesn't really talk about historical topics and she doesn't really talk about Marxist theory. Instead, she talks about very concrete uh, real life issues right now or just more broad contemporary issues like natural disasters, climate change, those types of things, but from a Marxist perspective. And what impressed me when I first started watching Mexi was that she has a very logical and materialist perspective. Everything is very understandable, but at the same time, not dumbed down. You don't have to be a Marxism expert to understand what she's talking about, but at the same time, if you understand Marxism, then when you watch her content, you I instantly understand where her point of view is coming from. It's a Marxist point of view. And there isn't really any other content on YouTube exactly like hers, so you should definitely check it out. Next in line, we have Danov. I almost forgot that this was a video from PragerU. I would describe Danov's content as a bit similar to Polinkosh in the sense that while he does make serious Marxist-Leninist videos and response videos and stuff, they're also very funny. He also has some really good production values these days, with pretty nice editing and green screen and all that stuff. Next, Tavarish Endymion. We hear it mindlessly repeated time and time again that communism failed. Now, it's rarely actually thought about in detail. It's one of those buzz phrases people just throw out there. Endymion also has some excellent Marxist-Leninist videos. The USSR, Democratic or Totalitarian. Really great video on the topic. The purges and repressions in the USSR. Again, really good video. A look inside the freest markets in the world. Really, really good video. It basically looks at the places that libertarians say are like the peak of what you can achieve if you have free markets. And uh, basically they're all horrible. Go figure, right? And... Probably Endymion's best video ever, Socialism Has Worked. This is a pretty long video, almost 40 minutes, but it's really, really good. Okay, then we have Comrade Reese. Comrade Reese has a good amount of videos. He has a very good video detailing the history of Israeli imperialism and the Israel-Palestine conflict. He has a good video on the Soviet Union, basically explaining the government, economy, healthcare policy, housing policy, stuff like that. He has a good video on the dissolution of the Soviet Union. Good stuff. Moving on, next up is Tanky Talk. Hey, liberals. So I've been hearing you describe a lot of things as being socialism, ranging from roads being worked on to national parks existing to basic social welfare state things all the way to the police and the military. The problem with this is, is that by using the word socialism to mean so many things, all you're doing is obfuscating what socialism is and making the word meaningless. Tanky Talk is a smaller channel. He has a bunch of videos on a number of different topics, but he mostly talks about theory or about American politics or how they relate to each other. And he has probably more videos criticizing liberalism and liberals than anyone else I've ever seen. It's great. He has a solid grasp on Marxism, but he doesn't go overboard with the theoretical jargon or anything. He has a very practical point of view. It is this type of perspective and style that he has that makes his videos like really easy to watch. And it's actually quite impressive to me how he never edits his videos, as far as I can tell. But they're still incredibly coherent. I could not talk for 25 minutes unedited, unscripted, and make as much sense as he does. He used to make a lot of videos covering uh, US news, like what was going on, looking at the mainstream 
especially liberal coverage and showing you why it's all nonsense. He still does that, but he has introduced like more theory videos and um, kind of expanded away from just being a news type channel. The Demands of the Proletariat in Modern America, that's a really good video. Revolutionary Optimism in the Age of Imperialism, that's another good video. Those to me really exemplify the type of perspective that I think is useful right now for Western Marxist. Next, the Black Internationalist. Class Consciousness Amongst the Imprisoned Lumpen This is a new, smaller channel. It's definitely interesting. It's a Maoist third worldist channel and I don't necessarily agree with all the stuff that he says. But it is very thought-provoking stuff, and he clearly puts a lot of effort into the videos. He doesn't have, like, professional sound quality or professional editing software or stuff like that, but you can tell that he has put a lot of time into editing and put a lot of time into writing the script and everything. It's very original, unique stuff. For example, he has a video about the LGBT plus struggles from a Marxist perspective, capitalism and mental health, a video about class consciousness among prisoners, and these are all like pretty long scripted videos, like more than 20 minutes of scripted content, so there's quite a lot of information there. He has a bunch of audiobooks, which I really like personally. Then we have Melms. Melms has just started, he has only one video, but I'm sure he's gonna keep making more. And it's a good video, so go check out Melms. Next we have Connor Gills. He's been making Marxist-Leninist content for a few years, and he has videos on a wide range of topics. He has a bit of an interesting perspective because he's an American, but he lives in China. He has a bunch of videos about communist organizing in the US. Next we have Mad Blender. How is it time to get up already? I'm not getting up. Ugh, I have to get up. I have to go to work. I don't want to go to work. I hate work. I could call off, but that means actually picking up the phone and talking to someone. It's easier if I just don't show up. But then they'll call, and that'll make me anxious because I'll have to ignore it because I didn't go to work and I have no logical reason why I didn't go to work and I can't lose another job because I didn't show up. I, I can't fuck this up. Fuck. I guess I'll just go to work. And her videos are truly excellent. She's been making videos for a couple years and she seems to upload like every couple months or so, not super often. But when you watch the videos, you'll probably realize why, because they're always really interesting. They're really well edited, really, really, really well produced. She has one of the best videos on capitalism and mental health. It's called Capitalist Realism, Mental Illness and Societies of Control. She has a great video called Commodity, Fetishism and the Spectacle. Great video on human nature. Great video about Gramsci and ideological hegemony. Really good stuff. Then we have Marxist Leninist 1917. He has a small channel. He uploaded most of his stuff like a year ago. And then he took a long break and he's just uh, uploaded some things a couple months ago. It's mostly just short videos where he gives his thoughts. Next up is Juche Gang. And as the name implies, it's a channel dedicated to the DPRK. So far all of their videos are on uh, Juche or the DPRK. And it is one of the best, if not the best, DPRK channel out there. Their video, Economic Overview of the DPRK, and The Truth About the Leaders and Leadership in the DPRK, those are really informative videos. They also have a long series, the comrade said that he has 20 more episodes planned at least, exploring the Juche philosophy. If you want to understand, well, what exactly is Juche, then that's definitely the place to go. He explains it in great detail, so you can at least have an informed opinion of what it is. Lastly, we have Telesaur English. Now, Telesaur has a 100,000 subscribers, so it might seem a bit pointless to shout them out, 
But every now and then people ask me for news sources. So I should say, if you're not subscribed to Telesur English, then do it. It's the public media of Venezuela. They obviously do a lot of stuff about what goes on in Venezuela, but they also cover international topics. We wish that our media would talk about the Black Panther Party or Cuba, or talk about the news from a non-Eurocentric, non-Western imperialist perspective, you know. So definitely subscribe to them. Thank you very much for watching, please like and subscribe. In the description you will find all my social media links as well as a link to my Patreon. See you next time comrades.